Senator Anhoff. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Mr. Fraser, when you were in your opening statement, you were very specific in answering a question I was going to ask all four of you, so you don't need to answer this one. Uh, that was, the question would have been, what do you see as the fundamental duty of the Tennessee Valley Authority to the individuals? We're talking about the nine million uh, individuals uh, uh, and businesses who live in that area of service. You were very specific in, in your answer. What, do you th what would you say, uh, Mr. Allen? Well, thank you, sir. I, I think I understand your question. I think. Uh, yeah. What what benefits are you going to see, or do you believe that TVA is going to have to the nine million people in that service area? Well, I think we have to continue to work hard to provide economic and affordable energy for those nine million people. As I stated in my opening statement, I believe that uh, energy is the very sure. foundation of our standard of living. And I think it's of utmost importance that we continue to work diligently to provide economic and affordable energy to everyone. Mm -hmm. There's a million and a half people in this world who don't enjoy uh, electricity, and uh, yeah. we're fortunate. Do you, uh, you two agree with that, generally? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Thompson. sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. I would, um, I would say jobs. Is a, is a primary importance of what TVA and their mission. Yeah, uh, yeah. Affordable electricity that's reliable. And then also managing the environment along the river and the basins and all that is very important. Well, you know, in your opening statement, and I appreciated this, I think you're the only one who really spent a lot of time talking about the recreational activity that is generated from the TVA. And uh, I think all of you agree that that should be in the mix in terms of what we, uh, the benefits that are out there. Senator Anhoff, would you like to resume your questioning? Yes, I would. I'm halfway through my questions, but I wanted to pause there to be sure that Senator uh, Alexander had a chance to make his introduction. Thank you. Um, Mr. Allen, as someone who's worked your entire career in uh, one industry, specifically the coal industry, I think that um, you might appreciate the, a dilemma I found myself in during the last administration, the Obama administration. During that administration, when I would travel around Oklahoma, constituents would be amazed at the fact that we had a president that was opposed to fossil fuels, that's coal, oil, and gas, and I might add, nuclear. Now, if you stop and think about the fact that 80% uh, of the energy that it runs this country it, it falls into those categories, coal, oil, gas, and nuclear. Now, if you extract that, how do you run this machine called America? Now, that's the question that I would have. Now, I think the answer is, yes, we do have, we, we do have an all of the above, but you have to put the economics in there also. When they talk about the efforts that, uh, that wind in Oklahoma is one of the five states that generates uh, uh, the most, I suppose, you could argue the energy from wind, that the Congressional Research Service study shows that wind production uh, tax credit is the largest energy-related tax expense in between the years of 2016 and, 2000 and, and uh, 2020. That was, it's projected that it would cost the Treasurer some $25.7 billion. So that is a consideration. I'd like to... Uh, just get a response from you folks as to what are there, uh, are there risks associated with solely relying on renewable energy? Because there are some who believe that renewable energy is adequate to take care of all of our needs. Let's uh, start with whoever wants to be first. Yes, Mr. Allen. Well, I, I totally agree with your statement. Uh, it's a a tremendous problem that we have. There's a divide in this country on uh, how it should be addressed, and I think that is the uh, one of the major issues that the TVA board needs to confront. TVA, as I stated earlier, has done a good job mm -hmm. in diversifying their generation portfolio. They're very fortunate to have a lot of hydro generation, which is proven and uh, well established. Some of the others, uh, as you mentioned, wind and solar, we're still learning. 
And I think uh, we have to apply that good old American ingenuity, as I mentioned earlier, to all the above. I think we have to continue to investigate how we clean up fossil fuels. Okay, let, let me just, uh, as a final question to all of you, is there anyone on this panel who believes that you can do away with entirely with fossil fuels and nuclear and still run the machine called America? What do you no. think, Mr. Frazier? No. I don't believe that. All right. Very good. Thank you, Madam Chairman.